Hi, welcome back to the Fruit Challenge Week of Edible Arrangements. By now you've probably done our cupcake and our hedgehog. And day three, we're gonna be making a banana boat. Um, I'm excited you're joining with us. Make sure you wash your hands really well and sing a happy birthday song to you twice. And make sure you wash off your fruits and vegetables and your surface areas so that we can um, get rid of any germs that may have come in contact. So today we're going to be making a banana boat. I've got some grapes, I've got a kiwi, I've got a banana, and I've got some toothpicks. And this one, the only important thing you really need is a banana and some toothpicks. And if you choose to use some other fruits that are different from mine, that is a-okay. You can use oranges, you can use sliced apples. This one has lots of different ways that you can use it. Um, so I'm, these are just the fruits that I've picked today. Feel free to utilize whatever fruit that you have in your household. So I've got my surface. I've got a flat surface with my knife if I choose to use it. I went ahead and tore off the top of my banana. So go ahead and do that. We're gonna focus on our banana first. All right, I'm gonna hold my banana this way and I'm using the arch that is this, this, that's this way. Make sure, your, make sure your banana does not look like this because you won't have your banana be able to stand by itself. So we want it to be able to stand by ourselves like so. So make sure we have a little arch like it's smiling at us. And I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna hold it and watch my fingers and you may need your parents or guardians with you since you are using a sharp object. And I'm gonna kinda make a rectangle cut on my banana skin. Okay. Just like that. And I'm going to lift my banana like this. And I'm going to utilize one of my toothpicks. And this is going to be like the sail part. And I'm going to plop it down like this. And there's creative ways where you can make different shapes. You can make it zigzag. But I'm going to keep mine simple. And I just pulled mine back. And I'm going to take my knife, and I'll give you a better visual so you can see how I cut it. I just did a basic rectangle, and then I pulled the skin back. And I'm going to take my knife, and I'm just going to make little slices in my banana. And that's where I'm going to place my fruit in. Okay? So go ahead, get your sale, make your indentions in your banana, and then pause the video if you need to. And I'll be waiting for you. All right, so I put my grapes on my working space. And what I did with my kiwi is I cut off the fuzzy brown spots on it, or not spots, but the skin off. I cut it off and after I cut one slice off, I just used my fingers and I just pulled parts off it off. And I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna take some thin slices from it that we're gonna apply to our banana bowl. Very tropical light. All right, and don't be alarmed if you have your skin from your kiwi that um, starts to make your skin itch. That is quite normal, and um, it is fuzzy and it is kind of itchy. So that is normal to make your hands itch. So if it does make you itch, just go run your hands under some cold running water with some soap, and it should take care of it very easily. All right, now I'm back to my boat, and I'm gonna take my little slices of my fruit and I'm just going to insert it into my creases that I made. Alright, this is where your creative part comes in. If um, you don't want to add grapes, you don't have to, but feel free to add and be creative as you want to. Since my kiwi slices are a little bit bigger, I'm going to fold them in half. A kiwi is very um, is a fruit that is very fragile, so be careful when working with it because it's sometimes it will break on us. All right, I hope yours is looking as nice as mine is. And what I had to do to get my kiwi, since it was thicker than my grapes, 
is I use my knife and I just cut out little holes like we did with the skin. But I cut out pieces of the banana so that my fruit passengers could fit on my boat. So I'll let you take a better look at it. And all I did was I just took them and I inserted it in the little spaces that I have created. And there are little banana boat passengers. Alright. And you may be experiencing what I'm experiencing, which is A-OK, -okay, is that my little flap that I cut out of my banana skin fell off. So I reattached it by applying another toothpick, like as you can see here. And it is going to be holding that extra piece into place so that I can have my sail. All right. So this is a learning experience. So feel free to share what you came up with. As you can see, I'm having my own technical difficulties with my fruit, and that's okay. This is my first time making a banana boat, and this is probably is your too. So we're just here to work through this together. So I'm going to show you again. I just inserted the fruit in the little segments that I created in my banana, and they serve as my banana boat passengers. Makes me wish I was kind of on the beach, on a boat, fishing, deep sea fishing. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to catch up. You can add a lot more fruit if you want to. I'm going to add just this amount because for myself as a snack, this would be plenty as a snack. All right. I don't know about you, but this looks like a really good snack. I've got my white color group. I've got my green color group. So I'm definitely including my, trying to get all my rainbow colors in. According to the my plate, that we're supposed to have half of our plate supposed to be fruits and vegetables. So let me pull up my plate here. So if this is my plate for each meal, half of it is supposed to be fruits and vegetables. Do you think you're getting your fruits and vegetables in? I know sometimes I'm slacking, especially on the days that I want my cheeseburger with my french fries. Those are the days that I'm really struggling to get all my fruits and vegetables. And don't forget, when you're eating your fruits and vegetables, you could definitely get your fruits and vegetables in during your snacking. I know at this point in my life, I do lots of snacking, especially since I'm working from home. So this will be a great and creative way for you guys to have a chance to play with your food. I know sometimes your parents and guardians say you shouldn't play with your food, but this is a perfect excuse to play with your food and to create a banana boat and try to get as many rainbow colors as you can. Like I said, I use kiwi and grapes. Feel free to utilize some oranges, some apples, some limes. Um, maybe some lemons. Feel free to be creative. I can't wait to see what your banana boat looks like. So feel free to send me a picture by email at bridgepass at utk.edu or shoot us a Facebook message or comment below of your finished product. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Have a great day and I'll see you for day four. Bye!